All right, what is going on, my dudes? We are back here today with a very, very fun, exciting video, and this one is going to be Civil Warrior, the champ spotlight update, man. This guy is getting buffed. Finally, this guy is getting buffed. I'm so excited about it. Um, if you didn't see my hood video, I just said, you know, I'm not currently home. I'm not in my studio. I don't have my, my PC here. I'm working on a lower budget laptop, all right? Um, so sound might be weird. Um, video might be a little bit spotty. You might be able to hear the fan from the laptop. Very sorry about that. Not much I can do. Um, sitting right in front of the, you know, the natural sunlight here, so I might be squinting a little bit, and I just woke up, but anyway, man, let's jump right into it, I didn't want to miss announcing this fun buff to you guys, right, so, as always, we have, uh, stuff highlighted here, um, the important information that you need to know, of course, right, um, so Civil Warrior is getting a really, really nice, fresh update, man, he's getting a moderate update, and it's really, really good for his kit, there's a lot of really awesome utility, and some pretty insane damage with this guy, right, so, Civil Warrior's mechanics, Stacks tons of furies with Civil Warrior, unleashes a ray of utility, get massive damage, keep the fight under your control. Awesome, right? Doesn't get much better than that. Um, so when it comes to, you know, prestige, 10, th uh, 310 is a 5 star and 13, 250 is a 6 star. So both him and Hood have some pretty weak prestige for buffs, you know, usually they're around like 10, 500 as a 5 star, 10, uh, 13, 550 as a 6 star, but not these guys, they're going to be a little bit lower. That's all right. No big deal, right? Basic abilities, armor, fury, heal buff. Just like always, except now we have fury too. So it's really, he had a very, very simple update, but it's incredibly effective. You know, all it takes some time is just like the littlest tweak, and then you have a really great champion. So strengths, long fights. Seriously, that, that's where this guy shines, all right? Civil Warrior can stack a ton of fury buffs. Use him in long fights to get some massive damage. Heal block, on-demand heal block on its heavy attack, let you deal with healing needs you may encounter, of course, just like always. Weaknesses. Puff Punishment, check this out. Although he is immune to stagger or nullify, just like the thing, he is very susceptible to any effects that punish you for stacking or buffs. Um, be careful for these matchups. Awesome. So that's a really, really nice piece of utility. It automatically makes him viable for endgame content and alliance war. Path 1 in section 2, right? Um, always active. Civil Warrior's combo of Super Soldier Serum and Advanced Stark Tech renders him immune to nullify and stagger effects. We just said that. Um, for each armor up active on the Civil Warrior, reduce the opponent's bleed and poison ability accuracy by 25 whole percent. So all it takes is four. That's pretty dope. Personal armor up buffs, unless otherwise stated, Civil Warrior's armor up buffs provide plus 233 armor rating and last 11 seconds each. All attacks, every fifth basic attack that either champion throws has a 100% chance to grant one armor up buff. Now watch this. Dash back and hold block for 1.2 seconds. What does it do? It converts all armor up buffs into fury buffs, with each providing 276 attack rating for 12 seconds. These fury buffs have a max stack of 50 and are refreshed each time an armor up buff is converted this way. Heavy attacks, 100% chance to inflict a 10 second heal block debuff, preventing the target from recovering health. I feel like I really just skimmed over those furies. 50... <laughs> 50 stacks of Furious guys with 276 each. Let's do some quick math really quick here because um, I want to get the exact number because it's a it's a fat stack. So 276.12 times 50. That's a total of 13,806 attack rating. Um, that, that That's huge. That's really, 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 really up there. Uh, that's higher than Dr. Doom with two Furious. I'm pretty sure it's higher than Strife at full max. Like he hits hard guys. Very, 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 very hard at max ramp. So, special attacks. When launched, pause all armor up buffs for 20 seconds. On hit, pause all heal block debuffs on the opponent for 6 seconds. That's nice. That's really, 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 really nice, to be honest. Uh, special 1, getting up to 4 armor up buffs, 100% chance each. So, it's really, really easy to, to chain the special 1, you know, special 1, go back and gain 4 furies. So, if you play this guy without the suicide masteries, you're going to be <laughs> just chaining specials, man, and just gaining those furies like it's your freaking job, man. Like, it's going to be crazy. Pretty much, um, I would say throw around 8, 9, 10 special ones. Combine that with the armor ups that you get from the beginning of the fight and also from just hitting with every 5 hits. You're going to be gaining those furies pretty fast. Um, in long fights especially, you know? Like, you just keep ramping up and ramping up and ramping up. Special 2, 100% chance to power burn 2 bars of power, just like always, dealing direct proportional damage to the amount of power lost. Of course, you could chain the heavy attacks right away like you used to. Um, you know, I did a rank 3 Civil Warrior pre-buff video a long time ago before we even knew he was getting buffed, and um, it was pretty fun to play like that. He just needed more damage, and that's what he's getting now. So this is, I think this is going to be a great buff. Uh, special 3, opponent that's passively power locked. 
Um, during this attack, 100% chance to inflict power drain, removing one bar of power. If the target is reduced to zero power, they also receive a power lock debuff for 14 seconds, preventing them from gaining power. So check out this dev note here, okay? Um, gain a ton of control in a long fight after stacking your fury with some massive power locks. I love to ramp Civil Warrior up, then power lock the opponent to let me get some long backdraft combos going. I think that was Kabam John writing it. Sounds like him. Um, the I love. I don't know. I don't know who wrote this. Um, but point is, man, yeah, there's a lot of potential here. There really, really is. So you can really control their power with either the special three or the special two. Uh, it's it's going to be almost hard to uh, push them up to a... Uh, up to a special three to be honest man um but if you do even check out this new sig ability which is kind of crazy man so civil warrior begins the fight with two indefinite armor buffs that's awesome you can start right away with some furies all right blocking during the opponent's special attack look at this inflicts them with a passive weakness reducing their attack by 60 percent this is also true if civil warrior was blocking prior to a special three um, dev notes, if you accidentally get opponents to special 3 and don't have an SP2 or 3 on deck, to pull them down, make sure to just hold block to get some massive damage reduction from the attack. Dude, that's actually kind of crazy, man. Like, that's a really nice bit of utility. All you have to do is hold block and there's now passive weakness. So I'm really digging this guy a lot. I think I'm definitely going to be bringing him to rank 2. Possibly rank 3 in the future if I like him, but I think rank 2 is going to be good enough for me because I'm not going to be using him too much, but it's nice to have him immune to nullify. That's going to be making him good for, like, buffet and stuff. I don't have, like, a 6-star thing ranked up, and my Red Guardian is only SIG 20, so I'm not going to be ranking him up yet, so he could be a really good option for this kind of stuff for me. Um, plus, that passive weakness is really, really nice, and he'll just be, like, fun with all the Furies, too, and I'm not running suicides. So, yeah, man, um, definitely digging him. When it comes to the synergies here... Simple, simple stuff. Winter Soldier, Falcon, Friends, Rivals, Critical Damage Rating, eh, you know, Perfect Block Chance, Captain America, Attack Rating, Nemesis, blah, blah, blah. Um, doesn't matter. These are very basic synergy stuff. Nothing crazy here. Collar Tech, Recommended Mastery. That's kind of cool, right? Boasting a lot of power control in this kit already. Pair Collar Tech with him to keep your opponent's power under wraps. If you run uh, Collar Tech 5 out of 5, um, not a lot of people do. Panda Man Pete does. And he has, um, you know, obviously, he's the Ghost Guy. Um, and Punisher 299 he uses, um, so Pete's gonna like this. If you run Collar Tech, you're gonna give the opponent even less power while you hit them with Tech Champions, so Civil Warrior is gonna keep the fight even more so under his control. It's gonna be really, really awesome. This guy, I see a lot of potential with him. Um, I think he could potentially be useful in, like, Alliance War, Alliance Quest, and also some really high-level questing as well. Um, you know, being immune to Nullify is huge, man. It, it opens the door to a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. Mephay... Uh, and there are a lot of really, really annoying lanes like that. You know, he used to be able to deal with Buffet because of, like, the heal block. Now, you don't have to worry about that. You can just fight normal. Like, people use the thing for Buffet. They just fight normal. That's what he could do. Um, his damage is going to get crazy. He's going to be really, really tanky. He has a nice power control. He's looking like a really solid buff. Possibly the best of this cycle. Um, but anyway, man, that's going to be it for this buff info video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop your boy a big old like. Comment what you think about the new Civil Warrior buff in the comment section below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more really fun Civil Warrior gameplay video coming to you very, very soon. Be seeing you around.